Hi everyone, happy epiphany. This is the time of year we celebrate the fact that the baby born just last month is also the Son of God and the Savior of the world. First of all, on behalf of the leadership team, I would like to thank everyone for supporting our congregation during this pandemic. By God's grace and your heartfelt contributions, I'm pleased to announce that we have been able to meet all of our financial obligations through the end of the calendar year. Praise God. However, it goes without saying that we will need your continued support as we enter into the third quarter of our fiscal year. May God bless our congregation and ministry. The leadership team has also asked me to thank you for being so patient with us and each other as we attempt to navigate these uncharted waters. There is no doubt that COVID has altered our ability to worship the way we want to. However, it has not stopped God's word from being proclaimed. We have attempted to provide as many worship opportunities as possible to meet everyone's need and preference. One obstacle that we have had to overcome is the mask mandate. Although wearing a mask in worship is not ideal, we continue to abide by the mandate. This is our opportunity to follow God's word and obey those whom God has placed in authority over us, as well as our opportunity in Christian love to put the needs of others ahead of our own. Once again, we thank you for your patience. Another obstacle that we have had to overcome is having a limited number of people in worship at one time. We are limited to 25% capacity level. Statistics have shown that large groups of people gathered together pose a much higher risk of exposure to the coronavirus. Congregational singing raises that risk that much higher. As a result, we suspended congregational singing. The leadership team has been closely monitoring our congregation's risk level, and it, admittedly, we have been very conservative on this. We have taken this approach out of love and respect for everyone in the congregation. Since we now know more about this virus and have more experience living in this pandemic world, we have considered reintroducing congregational singing. A survey of 100 randomly chosen congregation members was conducted recently seeking their input. The response of those who were surveyed showed an overwhelming desire to reintroduce congregational singing with masks in at least some of our worship services. Based upon a favorable downward trend and the desire of our congregation, the leadership team agrees. And we would now like to reintroduce congregational singing this weekend. However, we also recognize that there may be some for whom the risk of exposure remains way too high. It might be individuals, it might be families. And so we want you to know that we will continue to offer the following. We will continue to make our worship services available online through our website and also through our YouTube channel. And we will continue to broadcast our worship services Monday evenings on our local cable access channel 978. And we will also offer the Sunday morning 8 a.m. worship service as a service with mass required, no congregational singing, vocalists only. We will then reintroduce congregational singing in our Wednesday evening service and our Sunday morning 1030 a.m. worship service. We do ask that you wear your mask properly, covering both your mouth and your nose. For those who are exempt from wearing a mask, we ask that you please, out of respect for others, not sing, but rather hum along. Our leadership team will be closely monitoring our worship services in the coming weeks to see if we need to add any additional worship services so that we remain at the 25% capacity level. As we strive to keep our ministry moving forward, we do so with confidence that our God is in control and that he will always work out everything for his glory and our good. See you in worship.